I'll turn you inside out first, clown. <laughs> What is up guys, welcome back to another action figure review. Yeah, sorry for not uploading as usually as I do, um, I just have things to do. Anyway, today I picked up this from GameStop, earlier today, because your boy was in Grand Prairie. I got this really cool Spawn action figure, and if you ask me, he is super duper cool. And we are gonna review him. First, let's take a look at his packaging, a lot of box art of him. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, guys. I'm sleepier than Joe Biden right now. Yeah, I got the Covenant spawn. It doesn't say on the box for some reason, but it says on the tag. So um, He's from the Mortal Kombat 11 set for some reason. He is in his own action figure. Uh, yeah, I got the Covenant spawn because that's the only spawn they had. All they had otherwise was the Joker. So, yeah, basically, yeah. Let's get this guy open. Alrighty, so I'm just going to cut him open with tape because I'm a menace. Yeah, tape. Tape is the root of all evil. No, it's not money. It's tape, and it always will be tape. Among us. No, it's just stupid. You stupid. You stupid. You know, like you stupid. <laughs> yeah, we got him in his stand. The stand right here in the Mortal Kombat packaging. Sorry, I don't know who's at what camera angle. So yeah, let's um get this guy his packaging. Um, clapping transition. Alrighty, we got Spawn out of his packaging, and I gotta say, he looks really good. Like, this guy is amazing. I like like it's just so cool. Let's start with the sculpt and like all the accessories. So for the sculpt, he looks really good. Like he has like the bar spiky thing. He has like the bigger. Like, I guess, ankle armor right here with, like, all the spikes. I really like the addition of all the spikes. That's really cool. It's got, like, the skull, like, holder on the, like, his cowl. He's got, like, this chain skull belt. He's got, like, the friggin', like, the, all the cool, rare, tattered, all tattered, tattered, tattered cowl. He's got the little McFarlane spawn logo on the sword. I've always wondered what the McFarlane logo was, and then I realized that the McFarlane logo was Spawn. And it might be weird, but, like, Mc Todd McFarlane, like, created Spawn. Like, it's his own original character. So, like, I just personally find that really cool. What else? Yeah. Uh, this is Covenant Spawn, so, like, all the colors are, like, not off, but, like, different. Uh, yeah. He's just, like, there's, like, his pouch. He just looks really good. I really like it. His sword is really cool, too. Like, his cool medieval-esque sword. And, yeah. That's the sculpt. Let's get to his articulation. Alrighty. The articulation. So, it's pretty average articulation. Can go up. His arm can go up that much. His arm can go like this up that much. He has double-jointed elbow. But the spikes and the cuffs kind of prohibited this one a little bit. This one, not as much. Uh, of course, we got, like, the generic uh, McFarlane toys, like, hand swivel. We got, like, the legs. They can go this up, both of them. Double-jointed knee, like, like so. His head, I'm pretty, yeah, it's on a ball joint, so it can just do this. His arms are pretty normal. He's got pretty good ab crunch. Crunchy, munchy. Munch, munch, crunch it. Uh, ankle pivot, toe, standing up in, I don't know. Uh, yeah. This, that was his articulation. Pretty standard uh, McFarlane Toys articulation. Let's do the comparisons and wrap up the video. Here is Spawn compared to my DC Multiverse Battle Mode Blue Beetle. <laughs> Here is Spawn compared to my DC Multiverse 3 Joker's Batman. Here is him compared to your average 6-inch scale Marvel Legends figure. And finally, here is him compared to my DC Multiverse Black Adam with the cloak. <laughs> 